Welcome back to the second edition of CTC News. I'm Patrick Malowski. And I'm Travis Streeter. In today's newscast, we have the Haiti story, entertainment news, and two new segments, Day Watch and Nonsense News. But first, childhood obesity is on the rise. According to the American Heart Association, nearly 30% of kids are obese. In fact, in nutritionist Ellie Wilson said childhood obesity has tripled in the past couple years. Also, lots of sugar can raise heart rates and can cause sleeping problems. Here are some tips so your kids don't become obese. One, live a healthy lifestyle. Two, exercising. And three, eat healthy. BOCES is undergoing a new building project, and here's Shelby Duncan with more. If you have not already heard, the Herkimer BOCES building project had been passed in December of 2008, but not much physical progression has been made since then. The project in total will cost $17,125,000, so this is no small task at hand, but many people are wondering why this project is costing so much. They are planning to do many major replacements and renovations. Some examples are that they are planning to replace the entire roof system, the ceiling and the therapy pool area, install an up-to-date fire alarm system, replace the original gym floor, modify the car and bus traffic pattern for safety, improve ventilation, and rebuild all parking areas. We were interested in getting an update on the project to see where it was elevating to, so we asked the director at Herkimer Bosis, Mr. Pecola, to see if he could give us some information on the following. In spring of this year, the Herkimer Bosis passed a building project, spring of 2009, to do a $17 million project to update our facilities. People are inspired to become involved in the project because it's very exciting to be a part of something that's going to make a better educational environment for students, that they'll have the opportunities to do things in Herkimer County that prior to this they have not been able to do. Thank you, Shelby, for that information. Haiti had a terrible tragedy. And here's Matt Knobloch with more. In the month of January, Haiti was struck with devastation. A 7.3 scaled earthquake hit the country of 3 million. The Haitian people need your support more than anything. Let it be you to make a difference in a child's life today. People all over Haiti are suffering with no homes, no food, and a loss to everything due to the tragic earthquake. Sudden, natural causes like these are what leaves a country like this in shock and fear. It leaves people struggling for their survival and fighting to get past devastation. They have no food, no homes. Some people don't even have mothers or fathers. Put yourself in the position of some of the young children over in Haiti. What would you want us, United States citizens, do to help out? I know that myself, if a victim of the earthquake, would want all the help and support possible. Many Haitians were injured in this tragedy and need your support. There are many ways that you can help to bring back the life of Haiti. You can send in money donations by either texting Haiti to 90999. This will send $10 for support. For a $5 donation, you can text YELE -E to 501501 going to take some time to get this Haitian country back to where it was, back to where it used to be, but with the help and support of the United States, anything is possible. I am Matthew Knobloch reporting for CTC News. Thanks Matt, and we hope everyone helps Haiti out. When we come back, we'll have nonsense news. Stay tuned, CTC News will be right back. 